We begin this out with breaking news. There's been a dramatic new development in the Middle East. The White House says Iran is actively facilitating attacks on US bases in Syria and Iraq. America has a carrier fleet in the Mediterranean and has warned Iran against taking on the US. Let's go live to our team of reporters. Tim Lester is at the White House. Tim, what more do we know? Sherva, we know that uh, the White House has told the Reuters news agency in the last hour or so that over the last couple of weeks, an increasing number of attacks have happened around US bases in both Syria and Iraq. Iraq, of course, a neighbour of Iran. They say they believe that the attacks have been Iranian-backed. They've involved rocket attacks and also drone attacks on US positions. And according to the US security spokesman here, John Kerr, they have been increasing in recent days. And we also saw a quite extraordinary end to a press event from the president earlier. I apologise. I have to go to the situation with another issue that I have to deal with. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Likely Joe Biden's quite unusual end to that press event on economics triggered the questions that have now led uh, to the news being out there. But we do know America's fear, of course, over the last couple of weeks has been an expanding Middle East war and that Iranian proxies like Hezbollah and others might get, that, uh, get involved and take the war into other countries. Well, there's a real danger of that now, but I should say, guys, the US security spokesman says if the attacks go on, they will not go unchallenged.